So we're talking about what is a brokerage company and is it like a bank or how does it work? So I created an example around tomatoes. Um, in fact, one of the oldest exchanges that we know are the tulips uh, market in, in, in Netherlands. So an exchange is an actual trading floor, uh, like the one that we have in French Quarter in New Orleans, the French market, uh, where you have the producers, they bring their uh, products to the market, and then you have the people who have the need for these products, they, they bring their cash to the market and they, they buy. So you have the sellers and you have the buyers. So in this case, the tomato producers bring their tomatoes and then the tomato buyers like the soup factory or the ketchup factory or the tomato paste factory, they bring their cash and they want to buy the tomatoes from the exchange. So some of the problems with the exchange is that it's not possible to bring tons of tomato to the trading floor. And the tomato is an example. What if you were to trade oil? What are we going to do? Bring oil to the floor? Uh, pork bellies. Really? Like we're going to bring pork bellies to the trading floor? It's just not possible, not, not feasible, not practical. It's also not possible to bring all that cash to the trading floor. Right? I mean, you're talking about billions of dollars of trade going through every day. It's simply not possible for each and every buyer to bring their cash to the exchange floor. And we also cannot be there physically, right? Can't we just call in? Can't we just, you know, use our computers to log in and do our trades? So another problem is that the buyers need to trust sellers that they have the tomatoes. So when you're buying a tomato, you say, okay, I, I, I buy a two tons of tomato. How do we know they really have the tomatoes? How do we know the quality that they, they said that they would? Uh, and then the sellers need to trust buyers that they have the cash. So you just sold two tons of tomatoes to a person and says, okay, mine, and then promised X amount of dollars to you. But how do you know if he has the money or not? And unfortunately, exchanges don't have the resources and they're not in the business to verify all transactions. Um, that they simply cannot verify whether the buyers have um, the money, the sellers have the tomatoes, and whether they're going to honor their promises, they're going to honor their trades. Uh, exchanges simply provide the, uh, you know, the safe and orderly transactions take place on the floor, and the, you know, there are certain rules that they everybody has to obey, and that's what the exchange does. So we bring these intermediaries, um, the brokerage companies. So what they do is they become uh, an intermediary between the person, the, the, the seller or the producers, and the exchange. And similarly, between the buyers and the exchange. And their sole purpose is to ensure that the producers actually have the tomatoes and they follow their promises through. That's it. No more, no less. And on the buyer side, they make sure, their only job is to make sure when the buyer says, I buy, well, the brokerage company ensures that the person has the means to buy it, meaning they have the money to buy it and that they will follow the transaction through. So the brokerage houses literally act between the buyers and the exchange, well, the producers and the exchange and then the buyers and the exchange. So if a producer says, I wanna to sell tomatoes, they actually say this to the brokerage house and the brokerage house says to the exchange, my client wants to sell tomatoes. And when a person wants to buy tomatoes, he says to his brokerage company, I wanna to buy tomatoes. And then the brokerage company says to the exchange, my client wants to buy tomatoes. So the intermediaries are the brokerage houses. So the brokerage companies make sure sellers have the tomatoes and the buyers have the money and they, be, they both honor their trades all the way through till the delivery. So what do we trade on the exchanges? Well, you can trade agricultural goods like orange juice, uh, cotton, wheat, tomatoes, potatoes, cotton. I mean, any sort of agricultural good, you can actually trade it on the floor and they are traded on the floor, exchange floors. You can trade precious metals like uh, copper, silver, gold, um, platinum, 
flooding and whatnot. Energy, oil and gas, uh, electricity, um, and then obviously stocks, derivative products, and, and so on and so forth. So this setup actually it works with exchanges. What we trade on the exchange is irrelevant. Um, the exchange ensures that the trade takes place. We have the you know suppliers, we have the people who demand the product, and then we have the brokerage companies who intermediate between the clients and the exchange. Um, so some these are some of the big brokerage companies in the US. We have Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade. And um, while I'm recording this, I think that uh, Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade are merging or more like Charles Schwab bought out TD Ameritrade. We have interactive brokers. I'm yet to try them. Uh, Fidelity Investments, Robinhood. I'm sure that you all heard about Robinhood um, and then the E-Trade. Um, yeah. So what is a brokerage application? So now when we trade with the brokerage companies, remember what they do is they take orders from the client and pass it on to the exchange. That's all that they do. There really is not much else. They may provide you with advice. Uh, they may provide services like a bank. You know, you could have a debit card to your account. You could keep your money with them. Uh, but mainly they take your orders and pass it on to the exchange. So how you trade with the exchange through the brokerage company may, may come in different form and shape. So what are those? Well, you could trade, give your orders to the brokerage company via in person. You could just go to the actual brokerage company's branch, sit down with a person and then tell them, I wanna buy 10 tons of tomatoes. And then as long as you have the money in your account, they would actually place the order for you. You could say that I wanna buy oil, I wanna buy pork bellies and that sort of thing. You could also do it via phone, you know, dial 1-800, TD Ameritrade, 1-800-Fidelity or whatever the numbers are. I'm making them up now. So, and then you talk to a, what we refer to as a broker. A broker works for the brokerage company and a broker takes client's order, uh, make sure that everything is legit and then passes it on to the exchange floor. So you could actually also place your orders via telephone. You could do it via their website or you can do through an application, an app, like an iTunes or a Google store app. Um, and then there are some examples of these apps like Think or Swim or Trade Station. And these are very popular. Um, you know, the companies spend millions of dollars creating these applications. So if you do it in person or a telephone, this is usually a very slow way to have your order reach to the exchange floor. And they usually charge very high brokerage commissions about $100, $120, $200, even more. And if you do it via website, usually either a no commission or a very low commission that you pay, but websites can be clunky and they can be rather slow. So what these applications offer is that they offer fast and um, very low or no commission service. Um, and one of the nice things about this is they usually provide real-time data. So you can actually see what's happening on the exchange floor. You can see who's buying at what price, at what time and how much. You could have access to everything that's going on on the exchange floor through these apps that are provided to you a lot of the times free of charge. Uh, it actually takes relays orders to the exchange floor through the brokerage company, but directly. So it's, it's really nice that when you place an order, you actually see your order on the exchange data. And uh, it's, it's a nice feeling. You basically just entered through your app a, a single order, and then you see your order um, on the exchange floor's data stream. And then you know that your, your, your order is directly connected to the exchange. And obviously these applications provide an access to our brokerage account. So you can see how much money you have, what you bought, what your promises are, uh, you know, what you're required to pay, what are you going to receive, and that, and that sort of thing. 
So the applications usually, um, or the applications is where the industry seems to be heading, uh, rather than going through websites or the telephone or in person, um, we are directed to use these applications a lot more. And I think the motivation comes with uh, no commissions or very low commissions and the speed that you get with these applications. In fact, after, uh, during the COVID times, um, in person almost became non-existent and then the telephone became almost impossible. I mean, you call a number and then you, you wait like two hours, three hours sometimes, even something is wrong with the account, you really can't get anybody to talk to. So the website becomes your main resource and then these applications become significantly uh, convenient. Um, so that's what a brokerage company is and what brokerage account or applications are. So that's about it. Thank you.